Many people use Evernote to store notes and to take notes, but what if you want to be a little creative and draw in your notes? Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. That's what one of my viewers wanted to know about. Hey, thanks very much for clicking on my video today. I'm a certified Evernote expert. That means while I don't work for Evernote, I get to sit in on calls with their developers and I share what I learned with you. I hope you subscribe to my series so you'll keep up with all the latest. So Michelle emailed me and said, I'm flabbergasted that I cannot find this simple instruction anywhere on the web, so I've hunted you down. <laughs> I've never been hunted before. Uh, how do you make a shape in Evernote, like a plain rectangle, for instance? Maybe looking right at the answer, but I'm not seeing it. Someone mentioned a line and shape tool. I don't have anything like that. Can you help? Yes, I can. Let's take a look at how you could do a little sketching inside an Evernote note. So I've created a note already for us to play in called Let's Sketch. If you want to sketch inside this note, let's say you already have some text in it, and you want to create a sketch in between some of your paragraphs, come over to the Insert menu. Scroll down to where you see Sketch. That will change the screen and now give you flexibility to draw your sketch here. On the left side, you'll notice that you have a number of tools that you, you can begin to use. Uh, if you want to highlight something, you can highlight something. This is, of course, your Erase tool. If you don't like something in particular, you can erase it, you can capture things, or you can get rid of it all. More tools at the top. You can increase or decrease the size. This tool, Snap to Shape, allows you to create that rectangle that you wanted to create. You just draw whatever you want, and then it will clean up your drawing by snapping it to the shape that it closely resembles. This allows you to reset your zoom feature. You can even set background colors, if you'd like, uh, for your sketch. And you can add background patterns if you would like. And then when you're all done, you hit done, and that is inserted into your note. One more thing. On many of my videos, I remind you that because new features are always being added, you should always make sure that you're updating to the latest version. And someone emailed me and said, how do I know if I'm running the latest version? Let me show you. The first thing you want to do is go up to the top corner of your screen and click on Evernote, then About Evernote, and it will pop up the latest version that you are running in Evernote. And if you are not running the current version or don't think you are, you can also come over to the Help button and say Check for updates and then that will tell you that you are up to date or if you're not it will give you the option to update to the latest version to evernote.com slash download and click on the latest versions here it's also a good time to make sure that your web clipper extensions are running the latest version as well and if you add a new version, you can come over to evernote.com slash release hyphen notes. And this is the page where Evernote posts all of its release notes, what has been fixed, what has changed. And you can even go to other past versions to see what has changed. And as it says, this page will be updated with every release. Gotta keep current. If you're still learning about the basics of Evernote and want to learn more, check out my course, Evernote for Beginners. It goes over all of the basics that you'll need to know to get your Evernote system set up 
properly. And I'm always adding new things to it as Evernote releases new features. Evernote for beginners, to be honest with you, I've also had a lot of people take the course who aren't really beginners, but they just wanted a refresher so they know that they were optimizing the use of this powerful app. Find out more about the course at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Just click on Courses.